So where does 2022 rank amongst the hottest years on record? NASA and the National Oceanic Administ Atmospheric Administration say extreme weather events over the past year underscore the agency's latest climate reports. Meteorologist Caitlin McGrath is here to break them down for us. And Caitlin, we like to talk with you about this because you always sort of break it down and make it simple and understandable. Yeah, thank you so much. And that's what we like to do, right? Because it is a lot of really complex information that can be hard to digest, but this makes it pretty clear. We're talking about historic droughts deadly wildfires, severe floodings, devastating storms, all things that you hear us talk about all the time, and they're all linked to new climate data just released by NASA and NOAA. According to the report, the last nine years have been the hottest nine years on record with 2022 and 2015 fight for the tied rather for the fifth hottest years ever and 2022 was the hottest La Nina year ever recorded and that's significant because La Nina phenomenon generally has a cooling effect on the atmosphere and the global temperature. So scientists say while some extreme weather events across the globe are due to natural atmospheric cycles, the frequency of these events is directly tied to the warming climate. Now earlier today, meteorologist Miri Marshall spoke with NASA's Dr. Liz Hoy about the direct impact of human activity on our warming climate. We've been hearing for years that we're getting warmer and warmer. You have the data to back this up. Um, are we at the point of no return? Is there a way for us to turn this around? Yeah, good question. So the warming that we're seeing is a result of, of human induced uh, emissions into the atmosphere. And so as we continue to put emissions into the atmosphere, primarily carbon and methane, we're going to see those those numbers continue to rise. But if we're able to cut back on our emissions, we're going to see changes in our in our overall numbers. So I think it's really important for us to understand what's happening. That's why NASA and NOAA are working to provide the best science that we can uh, with these global measurements and so that we can think about how we move forward together as a community. And Dr. Hoy explains that the measurements NASA and NOAA used to come up with its climate numbers date back to 1880, and that data comes from over 26,000 weather stations all across the world. So this temperature record, it really goes back to 1880 is when we start using the record to make these global cal calculations. But the record extends further back in time than that. It's just that there's more uncertainty with, with the measurements because uh, we don't have as consistent numbers across, across as many places taking these temperature measurements. So starting at about 1880, we get the same places recording temperature over and over again. So we're really able to have really good understanding of what those measurements are from about that point forward. So here's a look at the top 10 hottest global years ever on record, and I chose these numbers based off of NASA's 1951 to 1980 average, because while that data does date back to 1880, that was a much cooler period. So they adjusted their numbers based off of an average range starting in 1951 and going to 1981. So since then, the global average temperature has warmed 1.75 degrees. Those were the warmest global temperatures ever recorded. That was back in 2016. And 2020. As we just mentioned, this past year is tied with 2015 for the fifth warmest global temperatures ever on record. That was 1.6 degrees above average, and you can see the 10, uh, 10th rather warmest clocking in back in 2010. So there is a staggering trend here, right, that all of these have occurred over the last several years.